Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a chisel brush and just a cheap 30, 40 cent brush and then just cut it around to the shape of a filbert or a round. Just take either side, cut it round. It's nice to have hairdressing scissors to do this, but good sharp scissors will be just fine. Come around, make sure it's nice and even, and then come down the side and trim along each side to make it into a knife edge. Down that way, turn it around, go the opposite way. Now what you're doing is you're cutting the ends of these long tapering bristles into a flat or an angled end. They're naturally long and tapering when it's a, the brush is made. So what we've got to do after this is to re-soften the end of the bristles. So once I've got to there, that's pretty good. Keep looking around, make sure it's even. Then I'll get a piece of 120 grit sandpaper and I just go in all different directions with the brush until you've re-softened or re-sharpened the ends of your bristles. The other thing this does is pull out any loose bristles in the brush which is quite handy because your first painting inevitably gets bristles stuck to it from a brand new brush, even the really expensive brushes. So from being a 10 cent or 20, 30, 40, 50 cent brush you end up with a good 18, 20, 30 dollar brush which will last you years and years.